I just want to give a huge shout out to the Ever Auto Socks for sponsoring me for all of 2020. They helped create a great atmosphere for me and has made this 2020 a lot better for me and my podcast, Call the Talk. So a huge thank you for the Ever Auto Socks. Hi, it's me, Justin Yomot, back here with another episode of Cards and Talk. Let's hop right on into this week's episode. Now this week, the playoffs start tomorrow, so I want to give my predictions. Now, these are the final standings for this year's playoffs. Let's hop right on into it. Let's hear my predictions. First off, we have the Rays versus the Blue Jays. I think the Blue Jays are going to win this series. I think it will be close, but I feel like the Blue Jays are just going to edge it out. And they have that edge barely with just having a lot of young hitters who I think will really step up in this playoff environment. Next up, we have the Yankees versus the Indians. I have the Yankees demolishing the Indians, sweeping them easily with the Yankees moving on to face off against that Blue Jays team. Next up, we have the Astros versus the Twins. The Twins are going to sweep that. The, tw- the Astros really struggled this year without, without their camera and without the trash can, so... I feel like the Twins will easily sweep them. They're just the better team in general. So I feel like the Twins will win that one. Next we have the White Sox versus the Athletic A's. The A's will struggle again in the playoffs like they always do. And the White Sox, led by Tim Anderson and rookie Luis Roberts, will be able to easily take that one. And so next up, now we move on to the NL, we have the Dodgers and the Brewers. I think the Dodgers are going to sweep that. Dodgers are overall just a better team. They, they're too much for the Brewers to handle. Next up, we have the St. Louis versus the Padres. The Cardinals, no match for Padres. However, they will get a game on the Padres, I think. But Prad- Padres are going to win that one easily. Definitely going to see that. Padres moving on. Next up, we have the Miami Marlins and the Chicago Cubs. As a Cubs fan, I could not be happier with this matchup. The war- One of the worst teams in the Marlins barely make playoffs as they start hot and miss a lot of games due to COVID. They they made the playoffs, and they're, they're not a good team. They've been getting bouts in the first round, no matter who they play, and I'm just glad it's my Cubs. Easy round one victory for the Cubs. Cubs are easily beating the Marlins without a question. Next up, we have the Reds versus Braves. I think this is going to be a little bit of an upset with the Cincinnati Reds taking that one. The Reds, I feel like they have some hitters. That, they're just, they're going to get lucky. They're going to get lucky, and the Braves are going to get unlucky. The umpires, I feel like, are going to be in Cincinnati's favor, allowing them to move on. Now let's go back into the AL for round two. We have, I have the Blue Jays versus the Yankees. The Yankees are sweeping that as well. The Yankees are a powerhouse, one of the best teams in baseball right now. They're going to demolish, demolish the Blue Jays without a question. Next up, we have... The Twins versus the White Sox. It's going to be a great game. It's going to be a great series. It's going to go down to the wild. It's going to go down to the last game. Win or go home. And the White Sox will take it. Barely. They're going to barely edge out the Twins with a one or two run loss to the Twins in the last game. And the White Sox will move on. And make it to round three. Now let's look at the NL for round two. We have Dodgers versus Padres. This is going to be the best NL matchup. The best matchup in the entire postseason until the World Series. Second best series. Padres-Dodgers. The Padres will take it into the last game. The win or go home game. The Padres are going to win it. The Padres have a great team. They've been playing great. Tatis is going to go absolutely off in the playoffs. Along with the addition of Mike Clevenger, it's going to be too much for the Dodgers to handle. And Tatis is going to take him. Gonna, he's going to take him to round three. Next up, we have the Cubs versus the St. Louis, uh, not St. Louis, sorry, Cincinnati Reds. Now, this may sound a little biased, but the Cubs are sweeping that. The Reds got lucky against the Braves. They will not be lucky again. Cubs are sweeping that. Cubs have been playing great lately. You Darvish, ready to shine. Chris Bryan just hit a grand slam recently. He's back. He's ready to hit. Ian Happ, playing great. He's going to demolish them. Cubs are winning that and making it to round three. Now, for round three, I'm going to go a little bit more in depth. We have the first off, we have Yankees versus the White Sox. 
Now, this is going to be a pretty decent series. However, it's going to be a gentleman sweep to the Yankees. The White Sox have a good team. They have great defensively. Luis Roberts is insanely great. He's going to be a star. However, by here, by then, the players will mostly be healthy. They're just ready to demolish. This is their year. They think that they, they plan to get ring number 28. They're ready as much as I hate them. They're going to come out swinging. And the Bronx Bombers are going to come back and hit at least, at least 10 home runs this series. They're going to absolutely demolish the White Sox. The White Sox will be heading home as the second best in the AL. However, they will put up a good fight, and Luis Roberts will lead them to one victory, a 1-0 victory in a pitcher's duel that Luis Roberts hits a home run in. But other than that, they will pretty much go down quietly. Now, next up, on the NL side, we got the Padres versus the Cubs. A great series at hand. Some two great players, so many great players. Tatis, he's going to come out swinging. He's going to give it everything he's got. Manny Machado, he's going to actually hustle this series. He's trying to make it back to the World Series like he did with the Dodgers. He just beat his old team. He's ready to prove that he is a prime-time player. Over on the Cubs side, you Darvish, he just came off of a great series against Cincinnati. He's ready to show that him being bad was just a fluke, and he's ready to prove he is he can be a number one pitcher. He's ready to prove that he is the best pitcher in baseball. Ian Happ, he'll be coming through. He's trying to prove stuff. He had a great season. He wants to translate that into the playoffs. And so far, he's been okay. He hasn't done anything great. But he's going to break out and have three home runs this series. Javier Baez, he's going to start coming into his form and make multiple defensive plays that keep the Cubs into this game. And the Cubs, it will come down to a win or take all. And the Cubs are going to win it by one run. And that one run will come from an Ian Happ home run early in the game. And the Cubs will move on to the World Series just barely. Tatis is devastated. He's going to go on into this offseason, remodel, just remodel everything. He'll come back better than ever next year, and he will win that MVP award again. I do have him winning this year. He's going to win back-to-back years in my eyes. So now, now we have the World Series set. The New York Yankees, Chicago Cubs, seven-game series. Game number one, you got, got Garrett Cole versus E. Darvish. My two side young picks at the end of the year. Going head to head, it is going to be an absolute pitcher's duel. First four innings for both teams, perfect. The Yankees will get a few hits in the fourth, and the Cubs won't. So for the Yankees, it's a perfect game through five. Yankee Cubs, they're da- going into the sixth, they are down 2 0. And that's how the game will end. The Cubs will get a few hits. No, it will be a shutout. The Cubs will lose 2-0 to zero in the first day. In the second game, the, it's the same thing. Yankees just come out swinging. Yankees win it 5-4. The third game, however, the Yankees fall apart. Cubs take it 5-2. Now it's 2-1 in the Yankees' favor. Cubs, well, they're going to come out swinging and win 7-zip. It's going to be their best game of the series. Now it's 2-2. Cubs are also going to take game 5 and set them up one and win away from becoming the champions yet again. The Yankees come out swinging win 11-zip. They they come out. Garrett Cole, was, Garrett Cole came back out facing elimination. They needed him. He came out. He absolutely dealt. Not a no-hitter, but a shutout. And the Yankees just Bronx Bombers bombing away like usual. Now... Game 7, win or take all. Whoever wins this is the World Series champion. It's perfect through two innings for both teams. Then the Yankees get a solo home run. Going into the fifth, they get two more runs on a, on some hits and some walks. So, Cubs are down 3-0. Into the seventh, the Cubs get one. Now we're back here in the top of the ninth. Yankees are up 3-1. to one. The Cubs will hit a grand slam and take the lead 5-3. But then in the bottom of the ninth, Aaron Judge will hit a solo shot, making it 5-4. But then, Jeremy Jeffries, who's pitched absolutely stellar for the Cubs, will come in. And he will get the last three outs. And the Cubs will win Game 7 and restore 5-4. 
the Cubs win their fourth championship ever, and they become the champions again like 2016. They win. Cubs are the World Series champions. That is, those are my predictions for this year's playoffs. Thank you all for listening. Make sure to check out some old videos and enjoy these playoffs. Make sure to like the hit the like button if you like this episode. Make sure to, su- to subscribe to keep up with all the new CNT episodes. Thank you for wa- thank you all for watching. Bye.